Okay. Justin? Hey, Adam, what's up? Hey, you're on Loveline. Um, I have a major problem. Okay. Um, I just got off the phone with my girlfriend, early, like, a little bit earlier, and we've been having problems. We've been going out on and off for, like, 14 months. And <clears throat> a lot of my friends, or ex-friends, are telling her a lot of stuff that are is causing friction between me and her. She's t they're telling you th her things about you? That, yeah. That like I've what? Like, like what? Like... I was engaged to another girl while um, her and I were broken up for a little bit. Is that true? No, it isn't. Were you real close to another girl while you were broken up with her? I was seeing another girl for two days. All right. All right. Do you, do you want to get back together with this one? Yes, I do. All right. We're, we're going to fix this problem. But why is it? Maybe, Tony, maybe you understand this. When you break up with someone, your friends immediately rush up to you and go, that chick was nuts. And they start digging in on the person. You know, they start going, I never liked her. I never wanted to say anything. But when she came over to dinner, I think she stole some silverware. <laughs> well, that's, that's but you could get got, back together. No, that's, gonna... that's because I got turned down by her. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah. But I'm saying you're going to get back together with this person more, more often than not. And now you know all your friends think she's nuts. You know, you following me, Drew? Maybe just particularly the quality of person that you've chosen, Adam. That you. Oh, you're saying I am going out with that <laughs> not, not now, not since I've known you, but maybe in the past. You have to talk to her. She has to believe you, Justin. Why don't we call her? Why don't we call her? Okay. All right, we're going to put you on hold. We're going to call her, and I'm going to have my man Tony straighten this whole thing out. See, Wait a minute. Sure, come on, Tony. Her head's going to explode. You're gonna, she's going to pick up the phone and say, Hi, this is Tony Bennett. Bloodline. Hi, this is Suzanne Summers, and you're listening to Love Line with Dr. Drew and Adam Carolla, so don't go away. Oh, just sitting here discussing this nation's social ills with Tony Bennett. Quite a surrealistic experience for me. Let me give out the phone numbers. 1-800-LOVE-191. The fax number 310-854-4455. I'm Adam Carolla. He is Dr. Drew. And our special guest tonight is Tony Bennett. And Drew, you're pointing at the screen feverishly. We've got Justin's girlfriend on the line. Oh, we you do. Gonna, That's you were right. You going to heal that one. No, Tony was going to heal it. That's yeah. right. Okay, so Justin, do <laughs> don't you can do it, Tony. How many records have you sold? Quite a few. Yeah. Think of all the 30 million? Yeah. yeah. You can do it. All right, here's the deal. <laughs> we put Justin on hold about 10 minutes ago. His girlfriend, he'd broken up with his girlfriend. There was all kinds of bad blood between them now because friends were spoon-feeding her bad info on Justin. They were poisoning her. Uh, we think that's what was happening. We now. think, and now we're gonna we're gonna figure this one out, Justin. Yeah. All right. Now, what's your girlfriend's name? Amy. Amy. There she is. Uh, Amy. Yeah. Okay. Now, how long you guys been broken up? About an hour. They're they're back. To, they kind of were back together. Now they're kind of broken up again. Uh huh. Because <laughs> of the bad info. Yeah. <laughs> Tony's laughing at you, Amy. You've been broken up a whole hour. Yeah. They said it wouldn't last. <laughs> <laughs> Amy. What have your friends been telling you about Justin? Do you want a list? Just give us the top three. The top three. The things that disturb you the most. Um, he cheated on me. Is that true? Okay. Justin? No, it isn't. So you were broken up and you were seeing somebody for two days as far as you were concerned. Right. And Amy, what's your interpretation on that? Um, I heard that he was going out there for two weeks. Uh huh. That, and they were engaged. Justin, real quick, have you had sex with anyone else in the hour you've been broken up this time? No, I haven't. Okay, <laughs> that's good. He's on the right track. Am I right, Tony? In one hour. One hour. He's doing okay. All right. What I else? It, I did it four times last night. One, two, three, four. <laughs> you should have seen Tony <laughs> moving his hand. <laughs> All right, Amy. Yeah. What else? Oh, I can't even think of what else. That's the main thing, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Now, how long had you been broken up before Justin went out and had this fling? Uh, about a day. Justin? No, uh, it was longer than a day. I know this for a fact. Yeah. Now, here's the main point. Were you 
scoping out your new prey before you had broken up with Amy? No. Oh. Amy doesn't believe you. Tony, what advice would you have for this couple that sounds like they hate each other, quite frankly? Well, they just have to be honest to one another. But, uh, but what if, what if I mean, Amy can't both, accept the honest? Uh, well, they're, I mean, they're both saying that's not true. Right. They're both saying that's, I mean, the thing is, if you, if you want to get together, the whole trick is, is to just really be honest and above board and make sure that the trust becomes permanent. And nothing can move it. So they have to start from a very honest place, even if All the way. Justin has to admit to some things that he's afraid Amy won't like, even if Amy has to, to accept those he things. He doesn't even have to talk about it, and she doesn't have to talk about that. That's well, gone well, with the, the wind. The way that I started seeing this other girl was I was sitting around at my house, and she called me, and she asked me if I would like to start seeing her, and I said, sure, why not? What'd she do, just crack a phone book? No, I've been friends with her for the past, like, two to three years now. She was the one scoping things out and, and took yeah. advantage of the, the All right, you're, moment. Yeah, but you, Justin, you're living, you're doing what we call uh, externalizing. You're not taking any of the credit. You know what I'm saying? Responsibility. You're saying it was all their fault. You have to take a little responsibility here, Justin. Oh, I know I screwed up. How's Amy going to trust wait, 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 you? Wait, 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 stop the, yeah. Right. So why don't you tell that to Amy right now? Amy, I screwed up. I shouldn't have started seeing her. Amy? I guess it's too late. It's too late. Justin, apologize a little more. Amy, I'm sorry. No, I don't believe Do it. Do it like you mean it. Amy, if I ever hurt you, and I know that I have in the past year and a half that I've known you, I am sorry. I never meant to hurt you. You ever going to do it again? No, I won't. I want a little emotion in Justin's yeah, voice. Yeah, it's a little See? flat, isn't it? Yeah, Tony, this is like that? a worse than a Baywatch episode. Well, it's like I'm trying to keep my voice down because I don't want to wake my mom up. All right. well, what's more important? Yeah. <laughs> Mom loses a curler or you lose a girlfriend? Come on, Justin. Sell it now. Okay. As I said, Amy, I know that I hurt you in the past, and I really never meant to. I really do love you, and you know that. Keep I going. I that earlier today. All right, now roll. I know that I should not have even broken up with you then and I will and I regret it now and I will always regret that ah. know that I mm. told you it before it's touching some feelings yeah keep going you're going started off like the robot from Lost in Space but he's, he's rolling now <laughs> keep going um I know even though she did call me and she did ask me out it is it is my fault too I mm. should not have said yes I should have said no and I should never have broken up with you I'm very sorry what if someone calls again Justin I'm going to say no. You're going to hang up. You're not even going to say no. Yeah. Amy. Yeah? What do you think about... Oh. You fogging up, Amy? Me? Yeah. No, I just, I just don't think it's right for him to embarrass me like this. Oh, you're mad? You're mad at him for putting you on the air? No, I'm just really embarrassed. All right, but... I'm Be sorry, Amy. I just really want to work things out. I this don't is want Adam's fault that you're on the air. <laughs> right, I, that's my fault, Amy. No, it's okay. But did you hear what Justin had to say? Yeah. Didn't it sound pretty good? Yeah, it sounds good, but that's that's give, the same old. Give him another shot. I don't know. What do you think, Tony? I don't know. <laughs> don't know either. He doesn't buy Justin's rap. <laughs> yeah. Justin, call Amy. I have a telephone number. <laughs> call, call Amy. <laughs> Justin, call Amy. You got to straighten this out. Right you tried. Tony's going to swing by Amy's place on the way back. <laughs>